how to set up a recovery email address for your Google account. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and then navigate to the following URL address https colon slash slash support dot google dot com slash accounts slash answer slash one eight three seven two three once here you'll be in the google account help in the help center for setting up a recovery phone number or email address for today's video we are going to be setting up a recovery email address let's find the instructions for that on this page so i'm just going to scroll down here until i find add or change a recovery email address. So these are the steps that we will be following for today's video. To get the correct instructions for the device that you're using, you need to navigate back to the top here and you have the choice between a computer or PC, Android, iPhone and iPad. I'm currently using a computer. However, if you are an Android, you want to left click on Android. And if you are using an iPhone or an iPad, you want to left click on iPhone and iPad. Again, I'm on a computer, so I'm going to be left clicking on computer. Once you've selected the appropriate device, scroll back down to the recovery email address instructions here. All right, guys, once you're back to where it says add or change a recovery email address, you're ready to go. So I'm first going to read all the steps. I will then demonstrate all the steps. So the first step here says, go to your Google account. So there's a hyperlink text here, which we'll be clicking on in just a moment. Step two, on the left navigation panel, click personal info. Step three, on the contact info section, click email. Step four, from here, you can add a recovery email, change or delete your recovery email next to your email, select edit, which is a pencil icon. Step five, follow the steps on the screen. Which email to use? Choose an email address that you use regularly is different from the one you use to sign into your Google account. And below this information, which you can look at in your own time, how recovery info is used. You have recovery phone number here and you have recovery email address. So all you need to do is left click on this arrow here to get more information. All right guys, so now that I've gone through the instructions, let's take you through with a quick demonstration of how to add a recovery email address to your Google account. So the first thing we need to do is go to our Google account homepage. So all I'm going to do is left click on the Google account hyperlink text here and a new window should open. You'll then be taken to your Google account homepage, which you can also go to by navigating to the following URL address, which is myaccount.google.com. All right, guys, once you're in your Google account homepage, you want to look to the left hand side to the navigation panel here. We're going to be left clicking on personal info, which is the second option here. So I'm just going to left click on it here. Once you're in the personal info section of your Google account, at the very top here, it says basic info. However, we're going to be looking to the contact information. And just below it here, we're going to be looking at email. You should then see the email address that is tied to your Google account. What you want to do is navigate to the right hand side of the email address tied to your Google account and left click on the arrow here. Once you've done that, you'll be taken to the email section of your Google account. And as you can see, it says manage the email addresses associated with your Google account. You can left click on the hyperlink text here, learn more to get more information. Now what we're going to be paying particular attention to is actually the recovery email address here. So a recovery email address is the address where Google can contact you if there is unusual activity in your Google account or if you get locked out. So as you can see, I currently don't have a recovery email address tied to my Google account, and therefore the only option is to add a recovery email address. Now, if you already have a recovery email address tied to your Google account, you'll have the option to edit or delete that recovery email address, which is indicated by the pencil icon. Again, guys, I don't have a recovery email address, so what I'm going to be doing is left clicking on add recovery email here. Once you've done that, you'll be asked to sign into your Google account once again, that you want to add the recovery email address to. So I'm just going to quickly enter my password in here and then I'm going to left click on sign in. Once you've done that, you'll be taken to the recovery email section. Your recovery email is used to reach you in case we detect unusual activity in your Google account or you accidentally get locked out. So it's just reiterating the information on the previous page. Below it here, it says add recovery email address and then a text box here where you can enter your recovery email address. So I'm just going to do that now. Once you've entered in your desired recovery email address, all you need to do is left click on this blue button here, which says save. I'm going to do that now. And once you've done that at the bottom here, it will say updated. And if I go back to the top here and left click on this arrow, we'll be then taken back to the email section of our Google account. And as you can see, we now have a recovery email address 
tied to our Google account. You'll also get an email to your recovery email address from Google stating that someone added you as a recovery email. In the email, Google will state the Google account that has just added you as the recovery email address. And it will also say, if you don't recognize this account, it's likely that your email address was added in error. You can remove your email address from that account by left clicking on the hyperlink text that says disconnect email. All right guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to set up a recovery email address for your Google account. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.